Generic greetings and welcome to Steam Engine Simulator. Today's beverage is a very nice dandelion and bird dock. Very chilled and refreshing indeed. So welcome to a bit of an extra video in the form of Steam Engine Simulator in my never-ending quest to find interesting, quirky and admittedly niche titles. This is the latest... Find. I was going to say acquisition, but the game's free, so that's not technically correct. Either way, there will be a link in the description for you to try this thing out yourself. Let's go over to the right-hand side and zoom in a little bit. What is this? So... Steam Engine Simulator is a real-time, physically-based simulation. It uses a fluid dynamics and rigid body model to simulate both an engine's sound and movement. All sound in this game is procedurally generated unlike most games, so you might hear some unusual artifacts occasionally. It does not use any pre-recorded sound effects. Why was it made? It was made as part of a YouTube video. Watch it here, youtube.com forward slash at... Angie or Ang the Great. Apologies if I got that incorrect. How can I support the project? Go join the Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash ATG underscore engine underscore simulator. And where can I report the issues? At the official Discord. Okay, and there we go. There's the credits developed by, again, my apologies, Angie or Angie uh, Yagi at uh, the previously mentioned YouTube channel. I've not watched that video all the way through, but I did briefly check it out. So this is the engine, and, well, we're going to have a quick look around its controls. We can control the heat source by clicking on it and dragging up or down. We can do the same thing for the water, so increasing the amount of water going in or indeed out of the boiler, the boiling vessel. We've got a whistle, which does nothing and we've got the throttle here where we can open and close the throttle valve and then finally on the right we've got the brake block like that you can also access the help on the question mark thing to show you different stats like um well things like the speed and max speed heat etc and press c to access all of the controls so how do we do this well let's put some water into the boiling vessel into the boiler and about midway will be fine. And then we'll start giving it some heat. So what's going to happen is this dial on the left-hand side, which is the internal temperature of the contents of the boiler, is going to start to increase. I should point out, I know a little bit about some of this stuff. But as we all know, a little information is very dangerous. So once again, apologies if I get some of this, indeed the terminology, incorrect. Anyway, another, another gauge at the top here, which is showing the PSI. And... That should be enough to use the whistle. <laughs> yes, it is. In here, we've got the uh, sort of bit that connects to the boiler. We've got our throttle valve. We've also got something on the left-hand side, which appears to be some sort of safety blow-off release type thing. The main connection over to the engine itself, which has the cylinder and the piston. Obviously, the counterweight here. We've got the big sort of wheel on the back and then we got this linkage assembly to this thing here which slides back and forward so when it's to the right hand side the pressure can come down here the steam come down here into the cylinder pushing that down rotating the wheel and then on the upstroke this then shuts closed and then allowing an open air like sort of vent like so is that called the steam chest in some circles i'm not sure anyway pressure is not going up let's give it some more heat and um, now it's going up that is fine and let's see if we can get this turning if you don't have enough pressure it'll just sort of hiss and just not work properly and you have to sort of stop it and get it going in the right orientation to show that it's going to be turning to the anti-clockwise mm -hmm. and pressure is now going up so if we give it a bit of bit of steam it's currently doing nothing more steam Currently doing nothing. More? Absolutely nothing. Oh, of course, we've got the uh, we've got the brake on. So a little bit of steam. So there's a bit of steam, but not enough to overcome the sort of counterweight, and it needs to go around. It's just stuck on this uh, bottom stroke. So we'll close that, and then we'll go on. Close, 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 close. More. Oh, okay, there we go, and it's kicked in the right <laughs> into the right orientation. All right, so we are on. I'm just going to reduce that down a little bit. Well, now that it's running, we've got momentum in that. It should be fine. Down a bit more. So as I said, this is apparently all physically simulated. So the steam getting pushed down here, into there, up and around. Obviously, it doesn't have, like, 
oilers or anything like that. It's not it's not about that sort of thing. Uh, pressure is good. And let's just give it a bit more. Yeah, there we go. And we can see it's venting from the top there. So that's working. Okay, good. Whistle works. And it is different because we've got a higher pressure. 150 degrees C and the water's going down. If I dump water in, naturally, the... Uh, the, the temperature will drop, as does the PSI. I wonder if we just go a bit more. Let's reduce the temperature. I want to see if we can start to reduce the... Yeah, temperature's going down. So reduce the heat source. So it's reduced the temperature. It's going down, as is the PSI. So we'll eventually literally run out of steam. Let's just turn that to off and see how long it takes to just stop that. I just want to see what the engine does. That's all the point is just to try this thing and see what happens. PSI is almost about to drop to zero. And... There it is. Yep. That's pretty much that. Okay. Uh, I do know... I did notice that this was wobbling a little bit when it got quite low there. This is just going on momentum now, isn't it? Yep. Okay, let's increase the temperature. And just go just over the 100 degrees start to generate a bit more steam just keep it going there and it's speeding up if we put the brake on a little bit yeah you, oh no that's not what i meant it meant it that's a word now uh, <laughs> i didn't mean to, for it to stop completely so off and on and there we go we're back again good so one thing i want to try is closing it off and watch this build right up so 150 degrees and climbing, we're on to nearly 100 pounds per square inch. There it is. So I wonder when the... Emerg oh, there's the emergency. So there's too much pressure building up in the system, so it is now venting this way. Okay. So the question is, can you blow the engine up? It'll be fun finding out. Let's max speed this engine and see what it can do. So we've got max power, or max temperature max power obviously the the psi is going down temperatures actually is fairly steady and this is stopped as well okay so it, it appears that at the max max throttle and maximum temperature it does slowly start to lose pressure so you can't run it indefinitely, I don't think. Let's have a quick look. Max speed was 620.5 RPM. Pretty good. But if we just close that off, and let the pressure build right up, and then fire that open. Mm, no, let's close it. Let's see what temperature we can get this... Oh, what pressure we can get this to. Because even when it's fully venting... It's still increasing in temperature. I just want to give it a little bit more, just to keep it going. No, nope, wrong. Come on. There we go. So it's building up. Heat is 100%. Throttle valve is 0%. Brake is 0 And go! No! If you get it wrong, it just doesn't work. We need to get it so it's... No, nope, uh, there. There we go. And we go oh, climbing up to 600. No, nope, I don't think we're going to get past that. So let's turn it off. We're going to have to put more water in because we are running out of liquid and you really don't want... <laughs> There's one thing I know about, uh, about a steam system. If you're trying to boil water, it helps if there's water in the, in the system. So that is now completely stopped. That's stopped now. Whistle's a bit different. So let's let's build up the pressure. Obviously, we'll have this. Oh, didn't mean to do that. We'll have this starting to vent. It'll begin to vent in a moment. There it is. Venting. We're nearly up to 200 degrees. Or well, up to 185. What At what point is steam clusters uh, superheaters 
We're just past 150 on the PSI. Ooh. It's it's increasing. It's in why have I got why does that remind me of the countdown clock? <laughs> I think it's just the colours. Just the colours. Okay. It says peak in buffer, 107%. I'm not sure what any of that is. That's just performance by the look of it. Yeah. What other controls do we have? Rotate the engine manually, which is space. Oh, that's pretty good. Yep, that's good. Fill the water is L. Just heat, throttle, brake, volume, reset controls and things like that. Disable warnings. Disable warnings. Is there any point? Because I don't think... I don't think we can make it go any further than what it is. Okay, what we'll do then is we're going to... Turn the engine over manually. So we're holding space. Brake is off. And... Max speed. Here we go. Can we get it past the 621 RPM? Doesn't look like. Don't think so. Nah, not happening. Obviously, we can dump the whole, like, loads of water in here and just boil all that. I don't know if that's the way to do it. <laughs> it feels like there's some little thing we can get for the achievement and such, but yeah. That's um that's Steam Engine Simulator. It's it's a quirky little thing. I'll give it that. <laughs> I just wanted to check it out. I just saw the blueprints and that. I mean, it's just a nice, simple aesthetic. And then when I read what it was, I thought, oh, it's physically, yeah, physically based simulation. Hmm. Well, there you go. We have a Steam Engine that works. Just a little bit of an extra video, just to just to show this thing off. As always, links are in the description if you want to check this thing out yourself. It's fairly representative of what you're going to be doing if you try it, so I don't know how much more you can get out of it yourself, but you may want to give it a go anyway. Uh, like I said, there's that elusive achievement as well, which is um, a curious one. Hopefully it's not just like play 10,000 hours. Either way, hope you have enjoyed this little look at the, uh, at the title. Um, by all means, feel free to check out the creator's YouTube channel. There's the details there. As always, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.